What happens to a narcissist when you're not around? What would they do? Hello to all of you. Please join me today as I welcome you to yet another episode about the narcissist. To the narcissist, you are interchangeable. You're there to keep their emotions in check and make them happy. Narcissists are idealists at their core, and this is what drives them. When they first meet you, you're everything they're looking for. But eventually, the only option left to you is to go down. They can't cope with relationship issues in the same way that a normal person would. Narcissists act like kings and think they deserve to be treated like royalty, but the truth is that they're poor. In order to avoid experiencing shame, narcissists develop an air of arrogance and a sense of entitlement. There is hence no need for them to feel bad for making a mistake. Those they believe they can affect are the ones they target. They won't stop telling you how fantastic you are until you begin to see through their facade. The removal of the mask marks the beginning of the devaluation stage. For them, bringing you to your knees gives them a sense of empowerment and boosts their self-esteem. They suddenly changed their minds about everything they used to think was great about you. Now they'll only insult you. If you're wondering what it means when a narcissist says, I want to be alone, you're not alone. Narcissists may say this to their partners, friends, or family members on occasion. They demand personal time, reflection time, or just a quiet place to be by themselves. When a narcissist says things like this, it's important to understand what they mean, as well as what they usually do when they pretend to be alone. For the simple reason that, in truth, narcissistic people loathe having to spend time on their own. In order to satisfy their narcissistic supply, they need to converse with other individuals. Because of this, narcissists must manipulate, mislead, or use others to achieve their goals. This can be done in person, via phone, or online. They take their partner and loved ones for granted and even resort to narcissistic abuse if they are seen as a reliable source of supply. Most of the time, they're bored and wish they could line things up with the introduction of a new person or event. As a result, they usually ignore or forget about their close ones in order to focus on other things. This is the time at which the narcissist may stop answering your calls, start ghosting you, ask for space, or furiously push you out of their way. Alternatively, they may argue with you frequently and shift the responsibility for everything on you in an effort to make you feel guilty for pushing them away or even agree with them that the two of you need to give each other some distance. In order to get what they want, narcissists are extremely clever people who know a variety of ways to do it without ever revealing their intentions. But whatever happens, you'll be responsible for it. Regardless, any number of things could happen if the narcissist is eventually given free reign to express themselves. For starters, it's conceivable they prefer solitude since it allows them to continue their addicted behaviors unhindered. Addictions to gambling, pornography, or even sexual engagement are all examples of this. Drugs or video games could be a factor in their behavior too. Narcissists may also want more room to get to someone else. In fact, the narcissist enjoys spending a lot of time and energy trying to find and seduce new sources of supply. Once they've used up all of their current resources, you can be sure they'll start looking for new ones. The need to keep their options open means that narcissists often find themselves involved with more than one individual at a time. As long as you're taking up time that they would rather spend with someone else, they'll find a way of delaying your conversation. Another reason, a narcissist may wish to be alone in order to retaliate. This could be due to the fact that you made them upset, set boundaries for yourself, or pointed out a peculiar habit of theirs. Any of these factors could have caused this, and if they're able to, they will choose to be unavailable at a time when they were supposed to be assisting you or simply being there for you in order to do so. Because they're planning things behind your back, this is also one of the reasons. When they intend to damage someone, narcissists become far more covert than they normally are. To avoid putting themselves in danger, they will not approach you until they are convinced of how they would harm you. Then they'll come back and act like you're their best friend to hide their true intentions. The final reason is that they may be planning to split up with you permanently and discard you for good. As a result, they leave you in a condition of limbo until they return. I call it a soft discard. In order for you to believe them, 
they make it look like they need to work on themselves, have no idea what to do with their lives, or are depressed. The reason for this is that they don't tell you that they'd rather be with someone else. Because narcissists are so self-centered with their time, they only do things that benefit them. The narcissist's time alone is usually spent doing something terrible or devoting their energies to their addictions, as I already said. Even when they claim to be alone, this is still the case. Depending on the situation, they may opt to replace you with whomever they want, be it a stranger, a relative, or even a child. Someone who can provide extra supplies for the narcissist. To sum up, narcissistic persons are self-obsessed individuals who only care about their own advancement or power gains. They spend their entire lives trying to discover ways to distract their attention from themselves. That's all there is to it for today. It's a pleasure to have you here today, and I hope you find this video helpful. If you've ever lived with a covert narcissist, please share your story in the comment section below. Consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thank you.